Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Now in the last episode I had a look at around at these and I haven't exited the game so these are the same. And I was thinking of doing this long apprentice mission and I still am thinking about it. There will be two campings during this quest. So it's going to be a low level mission. So we're going to have to make sure that anyone we do take is not going to die. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard to level Viz up because we don't have any healers um, that will go with. And it's a long mission, so we definitely want to be taking healers rather than doing a Sejiris mission. Because I think a Sejiris long mission is just going to fill our packs up really quickly. And, and there's going to be a lot of damage being taken and there's not going to be much healing unless we also take a healer. But then we'll still have full packs. So I won't do a long mission with an Antiquarian. But there, is, um, there is a short one which we can do later. But what I am going to do is we're going to think about taking maybe Dark Trojan who can work perfectly well in the front two positions. And Erasmus, who can do a uh, lunge from this position and end up in that position. And then maybe give Erasmus the quick draw trinket, which we can find here. So that on the first round, he has plus 8 speed, very good chance of going first, and can get into position to allow Holmesy to actually do some healing. Alternatively, we switch around Holmesy's skills so that she can work from the back, which is basically dazzling light uh, instead of illumination. Like this. And then we take someone else, but whom? Good question. Double bounty hunter, or just Raikuda here, who can work from the third position to do the duelist advance. So they can sort of move around each other, and meanwhile, DT is there just hanging out doing whatever. Although that will push DT back too far, so we probably don't want to do that. It's very difficult to use Erasmus at this stage because... Do you know what? Let's take Viz here. Uh, can't take Viz. <laughs> can't take Viz if we need a healer. So that's going to be difficult. So we take Viz, Sejiris and other people on the wield mission, or a short uh, apprentice mission, to level up these units in a journey that does not need healing. And the reason we're going to ensure it doesn't need healing so I'm making sure that they've got a little bit of XP right now. So maybe we don't take Raikuda. I would like to level Raikuda up to level 3, but I don't think it's going to work. Which really leaves Dutch or Sejiris again. Which, again, it's not that great. And we could unlock their stab, which is okay. But I don't want to take uh, an Antiquarian on a backpack filling mission. So what we might do is we'll take Dutch. And we'll put Holmesy here. I want to level Erasmus up again, but it's going to be difficult. Unless, oh, I'll tell you what we do. We take Erasmus on the DPS mission that also levels Viss up. And we put Raikuda here to get Raikuda to level 3. And then sooner or later, we're going to end up with no level 1 people at all. And that would be great. Since there's two campings here, I'm going to check that these people have a decent set of camping skills. And this one, this is how we do it. Self buff. Scout ahead. More scouting chance. Not that great. These are uh, quite expensive and we can upgrade this. Oh, sure, yeah. Alone in the woods or tunnels, survival is the same. Prepare, persist, and overcome. Thank you. That is absolutely true. Uh, less surprise, more surprise. Okay. Self. Another self buff. 25 damage versus size 2. Which isn't that great, but I think we're going to take tracking. Because having the greater chance of surprise can really turn a uh, turn battle. That was DT. Dutch, we have 3. All companions plus 2 speed. That could be really good. Especially since we can use it twice during the mission. Uh, or this could be really good. Yeah, let's, let's unlock that. Holmesy, you have four already. And I think I've already looked through these. Some of these are not that necessarily that great. Uh, especially with this one where it's if religious and if not religious. Most of them are not religious, or at least you can't tell. Um, until you've done it once, I suppose. All companions heal 50% with mortality debuffs. Reduce stress by 25%. Prevents nighttime ambush. So the reason that says if religious, when obviously the Vestal is religious, is because Sanctuary is a skill 
that can be unlocked by many people. But I think that's okay. DT we've done, Dutch and Raikuda. I mean, I really liked this. So I don't necessarily think we need to unlock any more, but what we might do is unlock the uh, actual Encourage one there. So there's a 75% everyone finds it funny. 75% chance everyone finds the joke funny, and there's a 25% chance that each person finds it not funny and stresses them out instead. Oh, that's even better. It's another time cost four. Alright, we'll, we'll do this, but also I think DT here, even though I just unlocked that one, because uh, the surprise one, I'm also going to spend a bit more cash on this. Oh, we're going to... <laughs> oh, I did say we'll sell these trinkets that we won. Um, so, we've got three of these now, so we'll sell that. This is almost paying for some of them, so we're recovering a lot of money here. Uh, let's sort by rarity and see if we can... Oh, hello. See if we can find the other one that we got, which was for a... Well, in that case, I know what it is. It's a... This one. I don't think this is any good. And I don't think this is any good either. Not compared to the fact that we have some, like, pretty decent ones, but... Is more prop better than more max HP? It must be, because there's a negative to go along with it. Um... Yeah, I think we sell this. I'm not going to use it. We do have two of these. Is it worth... Can you, I don't think you can carry the same trinket twice. And I don't think we're going to go out with two Hellions, although we could. <laughs> ha ha ha, that would be great. Maybe we should at some point go out with two Hellions, but they are quite high level. Alright, well let's not waste time. We've got a long way to go. Um, we're going to the Warrens. We're going to provision. We're going to have two things used up here. We do bring a bandage, I presume, because of the arbalist that we have. And you have both got... Oh, that's okay. And that's okay. Yeah. So we're happy with that. Let's do our trinkets before we forget, actually. So... Malay skills is probably what we're going to use here. We should check... Um, oh, no. That's what we want. Got knockback, which is a stun. We've got a move... The mark's pretty good, and it's a minus 10 prot, and then the one that does damage to the marks one. So we're going to want to take this. That's 20%, and that's 25%. So we actually would lose altogether. But I think we're probably better off taking something that doesn't reduce our move skill chance, because we do have two of them. And I don't use them very often, but when I do use them, I kind of want them to work. So we're going to take the buff to it, and then maybe... Where are we going? Warrants. Oh, they've moved that look so I can see now. That's pretty nice. Um, so Warrants is going to be Beasts. Eldritch. Might as well just take Beast. Doing more damage to the majority of the things on the run is going to be great. Eldritch. Uh, I think it's mostly Beast. Beast and Unholy. Beast seems like a better idea. At the very least. Um... It occurs to me, of course, that we didn't bring them all back first. Psy. Sort by character class restriction. Heal skills, heal skills. You had. What did you have? I've forgotten. We can have the beast one back. Not sure about that. You had uh, this. One of these two? 2% 2 crit is nice. I think I'll take the damage to range skills. It really helps us out with the uh, point blank shot. And then DT. Please. <laughs> Make it easier. Um, What did we want you to have? The beast again, I suppose? What is this? More damage, less speed, more stress damage. Fuck it. More damage all around. Don't really mind the uh, less speed thing going on. And Dutch, you will definitely have the Sniper's Ring. Which is this one. And maybe this. More accuracy in position 4. No, I want damage. Or resistances. Less blood disease resist might be bad. I think you tend to want to take um, a, a Grave Robber to places like the Warrens and the Weald. Because they can undo a lot of the troubles you get into there. 
Uh, what? Oh, I see. More heals received? No, it doesn't seem that valuable. Uh, man, Dutch are difficult to deal with. More move resist, more move skill. Minus one speed. We don't even have bowlers. Which is the knockback. So, yeah, we just want... Um, some straight up damage. We might as well take damage versus Eldritch. Why not? Sure. That'll do. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maybe take a couple more of these. Take plenty of food. Long mission is going to be very expensive, unfortunately. Oh, I'll take three of those. I always seem to take three shovels, irrespective of the length of the mission. Hopefully, we'll find some more stuff. Uh. I'll tell you what, we'll sell some food back and hope that the medicinal herbs will assist us in recovering some of the difference there. Take a bit of anti-venom, we don't have uh, much in the way of healing that. And just in case we find a secret room, but I'm not going to use it on a... Um, I'm not going to use it on a chest. Because we're going to have so much stuff being dropped anyway that opening up a chest to try and salvage as much as we can from it... Seems so hardy. We've got to do 90% of rooms. Scout their squalid homes. Hmm. Glass of water does me well. It means we can probably avoid that one. Possibly those two, but at the very least that one. So we can probably avoid these two. So I'm not going to go there. I will go sort of in... I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we'll go up and do that sort of... Trying to be as as efficient as possible without backtracking unnecessarily. It's not a big deal if you backtrack, but you know it's a wandering postman sort of problem. Everyone's stressing out already. Incidentally, if you are level zero, you start with stress. That is why that was happening. I learned this from a random Google from something completely unrelated. Now we don't know where we're going because we don't have a scout. But it's okay. We will not be touching this if you don't mind. I don't know what happens if you don't put a torch on it. If anything. Nothing in here. Now we get a battle. So there's going to be uh, a bunch of spitting type units. That's what we like to see. A buff. 30% damage until camp. That's a long time. It's a great buff. Uh, spitting type units that could cause diseases when you get rid of them quickly. We've got bleeding things and stabbing things, so maybe we'll try and kill one of these ASAP. We've got a good chance of killing most of these in one hit. But we'll start with this one because we don't want to get diseases. Certainly not this early on in the game. Uh, you might as well just try and knock out. Did I not unlock the stun? I did not. It's okay. Uh, then D dodge. This joker. It fucking dodged the D dodge. How often does that happen? All the fucking time. That's how often that happens. Don't cut the Vestal. Don't vomit on the Vestal. Look. That's new Homesy, and you're gonna kill her straight away. Hit the one with the repostion. Dozer. Clear mark target, more debuff resist, torch plus three. That does do everybody. But honestly, I'm just gonna shoot this. <laughs> Annihilate. Right, now we look at this. This is damage versus human. These are all human beasts. Uh, I did give you the... Yeah, beast. What What is the damage amount? Now, the question is, is it worth marking... Because you have damage versus marked as well. So it may be worth marking this and letting Dutch kill it, but it may just be worth hitting this twice. Do you see what I mean? It's not... Clear. It's not clear how valuable the mark is. I suppose the mark is valuable if more than one thing is going to benefit from it. But in that case, the mark would not have benefited us at all. Because it would have either been one or the other that died as a result of DT's action. So, I'm probably not going to touch that. I'm not confident about what it does. And therefore, I'm not going to find out <laughs> at this early stage. You might need to eat a bit of food. Oh, uh, what have we got? Two damage for one round? As long as you don't get hit. I mean, I could have de-bled you. Maybe I should have. What's done is done. 
Uh, we'll use. This isn't necessarily the greatest of ideas, but at least we found some food. We found food. Let's talk about this, right? We opened a barrel of beer, which, if anything's going to contain food, it's going to be an old barrel of beer. We cleaned it up. We salvaged as much as we could. No food. We opened a knife rack with our bandages. Food. 1,500 gold. And food. Ah, yes, they were. Miss! No! Bad miss. So we got lucky that Homesy didn't get attacked here, but... I think eating the free food that we got was the correct thing to do. Didn't miss, but things are still alive. Yes, hit that unit. Amazing. Do it again. Yes. Hooray! So you've got... Fuck all damage coming to you. So we might as well just use Homesy here again to... Oh, we can't. Okay. Oh, you're going to take three damage. It's kind of okay. I think it's okay. Um, excuse me? <laughs> no, no, no. This is not how this works. I don't want this. Thousand gold. That's almost as much as a stack of... Do you stack more? Oh, look, we're not here for the money, but we'll just try and... Pick one and hope for the best. Sure. Oh, a trap. <laughs> well done. Well done, Dutch. You're now on. Spring to life. Oh, you can have one of these. You don't get one because you're going to take one more damage, and that's really not a very good cost-benefit analysis of the situation. Nothing in here. Great, great, great. Scouting really helps. We've got two camps between here and here. So we've done six rooms. We've got basically 12 left. No, sorry, we've basically got 10 left. Possibly 11. So this is about a third of the way through, so we should probably use one of our camps. That seems legit. Let's do it. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. I'm gonna have full rations, but not a feast, because the HP is valuable, the de-stress is not, and also I want to make sure we have extra food at the end to... Uh, do stuff with. So we don't really need to de-stress anybody. So what we might end up doing is Not really that. One companion 35% removed bleeding Don't need to do that. That's that seems like a very much last-ditch effort So you don't really need to do anything unless we want to de-stress somebody, but we have all these options. Reduce stress, add prot Add accuracy and dodge Which I think might be applicable to Raikuda because it would overcome some of the dodge that other things have. I think accuracy uh, uh, counters dodge on the target. Uh, less stress damage could be good. Self, more accuracy, more crit, more scouting chance could be good. How long does it take? Three. That's alright. And then courage. And then these are really good. So I think we want to start with a self buff on Raikuda with either melee or ranged. I think melee is like more likely to happen. Because we want the repost. So I assume that the repost, uh, the literal repost when you use it, would get the damage buff from that. Or, and the accuracy buff, because reposts can miss and can be dodged. Um, on this, do we want the scouting chance? It will cost us three, I think we do. Yeah, we'll take that. For sure. And then we might as well. We could accuracy up Dutch. But I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Because we could do all this again. Right, there's four combats. We could do it all again. In six rooms. Or earlier if we really want to. If we actually get stressed out too much. So I suppose it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we might as well do this. And then we've got two left to just do an encourage or something. So you've got 29, you've got 21, so we might as well get you to encourage you, and then we'll rest and hope for no ambush. No ambush. Tremendous. And a little bit of extra space in our inventory, and we know that there's no uh, fight between here and the next room, and hopefully we get a scout when we get to the next room, because we just buffed ourselves uh, on that. We didn't. We did buff ourselves on that. My mistake. We may still get a scout. We didn't get a scout. So we'll go this way. I mean, I've already preordained the direction we go. It's just 
I guess we have some chance of surprising them. We got surprised. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Uh, we didn't even have our repost ready. That's not fair. Now we do. Probably want to kill one of these. You've had to go, so I'll kill you. Eradicated. I don't know if we can actually move. This is difficult. Do you have a move yourself? No. So we're going to have to do our best from here. You're not very good in this position at all. You can mark for death. You can come hither. Okay. Guess we just... Illumination? Try and heal everybody a little bit. Keep on top of it until we can do something else. I'd, I was hoping they had a pull attack to be fair. Something that drags you forwards. It was not the case. Oh, you can sniper shot. So maybe you should. Yeah, do so. Try and kill that. You might as well just start walking. You can snipe the second position, right? Yes. So I think what we do is, in fact, we mark this unit. We get Raikuda. Hmm. Oh, that's not great. Well, we do get a... Okay, we get Raikuda to repost against that unit. Then we point blank shot this unit. It puts Holmesy in a bad position, but we can probably get this over with pretty quickly anyway. We have no dodge. Okay. Do some small amount of damage. Then we get... Um, Dutch sniper shot this, which you can do. 10 damage basically puts it in death range of whatever we want to do next. How much damage does this do? Minus 67%, but it doesn't do any damage anyway, so what? Oh, we can't hit it. That's me being a dumb arse. Punishment. Some whips and some bleed. Nope, some stress. Okie dokie. Oh, we resisted the bleed. That's very nice. And... Damage versus mark. Make sure it happens. Another thousand gold. Uh, do we want these? I kind of think we do. Why don't you eat a bit? And then we'll take those. We can't restack these and I don't want to throw away torches yet. I'm not ready for that. Uh, right, everyone get back in position. You go here. That's good. Well, that was uh, an interesting fight. It oh, hello. Dodged it. Thank you. It, uh, it went well. So at least we know that we can survive in an awkward position. But I'd rather not test that. If at all possible. Maybe a scout. Find a scout. Oh, now we get them surprised. So it doesn't shuffle them, of course. They just have to skip a turn. I'm not sure which I prefer. I probably prefer them waiting till the end of the turn. Because it means we could do things like this. Yes, that was excellent. I think that was probably the best one to go for. This does have a stress attack, but it doesn't have a disease attack. And that's the uh, that's the clincher, I think, in this situation. So we'll do a, a party heal. Basically, everybody needs some. That wasn't great roll, but Holmesy has not been upgraded uh, too highly. I think we just try and kill these as fast as possible. That could almost kill it. In fact, with a crit, I was about to say, we'll kill it. So I'm <laughs> very pleased that such a... Uh, just a humph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I expected to hit that hard. Whatever. Repost. Repost kills it. So we did take some stress damage. Killed it as a result. Super happy with that. This is going to be a bleed. Yeah. So we're going to have to wail away on the... Uh, on the old HP there. Oh, that's actually a really bad time to have properly killed that thing. I'll take what we can. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Make sure that doesn't actually kill him. I think I'm going to use this torch to take this because they sell for a lot. But again, not going to use this because, like, who cares? Did get a scout, but we need to explore all the rooms anyway. So, ah, oh, I was thinking battle first and trap. No, other way around. Surprised again. Super helpful. So we can do this. Um kill the things at the back and beat the shit out of the things at the front thing before anyone even gets a go uh, strategy. We'll probably heal directly on DT here because he is far enough away from full HP. He's close enough to death, I suppose, is a better way of saying that. Brilliant. Uh, but I'm a bit worried, so I wanted to give him a bit extra HP there, and this could... didn't quite. Bit of a shame, but if you hit you, which you didn't. Of course you didn't. Bleed? No, it was a move, but it didn't happen. I was going to say, if you'd hit him, that would have been it. 
Game over. GG. Don't care about that. And driven into the mud. I would like it if an update allowed us to turn off that, you know, you can't carry everything front. Just the fact that there's stuff left when I click the take all button suffices. I, I understand what's happening. This is the first time we've actually not had to go for quite a long time. Uh, luckily, we dodged both of them, and I think I want to kill these first. Although these do have blights, which could be quite debilitating. Well, you're basically dead, but not as dead as I'd like. What's this? At this low level, everyone's basically always close to death, which is a bit irritating, but... Wow, thank you so much for these amazing dodges so far. Uh, why don't we... This is versus human, which is only this one. But we could just kill it anyway, maybe. We could. We did. Perfect. This is actually a really good party, even though DT was level 0 when he came out here. He's done a lot of damage. He's been really good. Uh, just good all-round unit. Really, really weird. Of course, not killing that was probably a bad move. Because I can't hit anything else. So we might as well guarantee that we kill this uh, corpse, right? I mean... It doesn't matter which one we use. It doesn't matter which one we kill. So... If we stay at the front, maybe we can use point blank shot a bit more effectively in a minute. Don't know. So we're going to be looking to upgrade all these people. They're doing really well. That was perfect. Very much pleased with that. And everyone else completely resisted the stress damage, which is great. We've got a couple of blights going on, but it's only one point of damage, so I'm honestly not bothered. That's well, GG from me, and it's GG from him. There's another trinket. More move at least promises success. I mean. I mean, what? <laughs> I don't want to get rid of anything in favour of that. Um, we already have one, and it would sell for about uh, 1,100 gold, I think. But we've got a stack of gold worth 1,500, and we need everything else to survive. I mean, again, this is a long mission, don't forget. So we're going to end up with inventory problems. We'll eat four food, which will undo the bleed damage that we just took. It was a very uneventful corridor, but we knew it was going to be. And I'm just trying to use a torch whenever it dips just below the line so that we get the maximum benefit from it. We'll go here. I'm going to ignore the passageways for not going down, even if they, uh, you know, look like they contain, some oh, shush. contain something that we want to see. Who cares? I'm actually going to put you back in this position. That's what we want to see. And crack the torch and go in here. So this is probably where we're going to camp for the second time, although to be honest, maybe we don't. So this is, this is where we're going to camp for the second time. We haven't taken much HP damage. We haven't taken much stress damage. We lost all our buffs, but we're still doing really well. And that was a very bad time for that uh, torch to go down. But I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Marks resisted the debuff, which is excellent. Resisted the dodge. In fact, if you're going to remain marked, I might as well. That was guaranteed kill. You have to take it, right? Turn on repost and see if anything else is going to attack you. Is that a stun, maybe? It was a resisted stun. But a stun, nonetheless. So... So here's the thing. This unit will take more damage from being hit twice by marked things. Ah, uh, maybe. Right, now we want to hit it again for as much damage as possible. We have to hit it twice, basically. So we... By using a mark... We kind of guarantee that that will be effective. I'm still not sure. Because again, if we hadn't used the mark, but we just hit it, it would now be dead. Or at least, there's a good chance that it would now be dead. But again, that one's dead, so who cares. Let's just move on. So now we collect bounty on this. 21 damage. Yeah, it basically would have been dead, even without that mark, I think. Seems, uh, seems like a thousand gold. Or is it merely a we'll take that much gold. Light. And then we'll camp in a minute. We've got here books. We won't touch the books. Not concerned about books. I mean, we've got some really good trinkets, and I think that's um, a big difference maker. Early on in the game, you don't have that many trinkets. Ooh, that is the secret room, which I will be going to. You don't have that many trinkets. You don't have that much of an advantage as a result. We might as well camp in the room we started off camping in, which was actually this one. But you know what I mean. 
Oh, we'd need to clear our inventory first, though, wouldn't we? Hmm. So I'm not going to open that yet. I'm going to go back to this room. Basically, I'm going to come back to that. And the reason is... When we get to the end of the run, we will have more inventory space. We can get rid of stuff we don't need. We can throw away our food. We can throw away our shovels. Even our torches. In order to take all three things that will come out of that room. But if we open it now... That's a... That's... You're going to have a bad time, right? Uh, 80, 160, 70. I mean, you're not going to... You're not going to not benefit from the stress relief. Let's put it that way. Let's put it the most awkward way. Anything in here? We can't... Um, can't put a bandage on it. Being as we don't have any. So we'll just keep going. This is actually turning out to be a really quick, long run. And as I was saying, it's probably because of all these... Um, Oh, bad time. It's probably, probably, no, uh, no repost from that. Because of all these trinkets that we've got from all the higher level missions. Super benefiting us. Griping in the guts. What does that do to us? We'll find out. We probably want to sniper shot this, but it's going to dodge again, which is really annoying. We'll try it. It won't kill it, but it brings it that much closer. Old ball and chain, eh? So we didn't roll too well on our um, our speed rolls at the start of that, but at least we do get a go now. Mm. We get we guarantee this kill if it doesn't dodge it, right? But does that help? We want to be able to reach that. I think it does. First of all, it stops it having a go. Secondly, we're going to be able to. Um, can I get a riposte from this, please? We're going to be able to point blank shot this. It's going to do a lot of damage. Plenty of damage. With the uh, amazing trinkets that we found from previous missions. Where it hurts is a repostable act. A reprehensible repostable act. Oh, you moved. Didn't actually expect you to have moved, but that's okay. We'll do this, and then we've done. We've only got three torches left. Which is actually cutting it a bit fine, in my opinion. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task 450 end. gold can just lie around. Honestly, not concerned. We may have to do this room, don't forget. Uh, I didn't do this quite right, because obviously we can't get to here. But if I want to go back to here anyway, we're going to go back that way. So we'll go this way. Torchlight is fine. Could be surprised. You're not surprised. You're supposed to be surprised. No disease, please. What did I just say? No disease, please? That's a bit of uh, bad luck just now. The Red Plague is pretty bad. As long as we don't get any bleed attacks, it should be okay for now. Uh, that's actually, I don't care. <laughs> but we do want to get rid of the Red Plague as soon as we get home. Maybe we stun one of these things, because these do have... No, just straight up attacks, so... Kind of don't care. What have we got here? 3 to 7. 4 to 9. We could bring one of these close to death. I'd rather bring one of the ones that's going to have a go close to death. Which, incidentally, can we have a go? Thank you. We do guarantee this kill, but this one has a go. This is one of those times when taking the actual kill probably seems not quite as good, because this, this is quite likely to actually kill it. Perfect kill. Uh, which stops it from having a go and therefore reduces the amount of incoming damage, as usual. We can still kill this one anyway. We wanted to make sure that the one that had a go doesn't get that go. Oh, that's really good. So we finally got a go and everything just got wiped out immediately, so... I'm super pleased with that. Oh, that's a shame. But now you can reach that, so... Uh, there we go. Did dodge it. Quite happy with the dodge that we just received now. Uh, we'll do a party heal of four, which is a benefit of these amazing trinkets that we found in the past. Seven damage is not enough, but it's not going to survive any further anyway, so that's fine. So Raikud has come across uh, pretty much the worst for wear on that one. Can't take any of this, but I don't care. And we will uh, not walk into this trap if we can avoid it. Hooray! This is turning out a really, 
really good mission. We're gonna have to pay Raikuda a lot for Raikuda to get, um, you know, drained of blood and fed unguents, or whatever it is you do with unguents, in order to get rid of the red plague. Well, fucking hell. Uh, but besides that, I mean, I think we're gonna do really well here. Nothing in here. So I'm gonna go down to this one just in case we need to. Um, kind of running out of torches. Right, what do we decide? 5, 10, 13, 16, 17, 19. We probably need to do this one, so I will. Hoping to find a torch before too long. We know it's empty, right? So that's Ireland's. Oh, we can't carry it. Honestly, should have used the torch first. My mistake. You live and learn. That was actually enough. So, whoops. But we are going to go round the long way then. I want to go and get... No, I pressed W. I've done that before. Just let it be. Continue. We'll take some stress as we walk around. That's okay. DT will definitely need to go in for de-stressing. But DT will now be level 1 at least. I don't know if you can level up past 1 in one mission. Because it's a long mission. So we've done a lot of... Uh, experiential things. So I'm going to avoid that room battle since we don't need to do it. Come back down here. No, click on the thing first. We could, in fact, find enough space in our inventory to even open this, because we do have two keys. I believe it was the chest. I'm not very much mistaken. Um, we're not going to need the shovels. We might need some of the food, so I'm not going to get rid of that. I don't want to end up having a, you know, a, a hunger pang just before the end and end up with a shitload of stress. Uh, I want to take the gold. I'll probably get rid of this and take this, which is kind of annoying because I've already got rid of a portrait that would have stacked. But, you know, you can't win them all. don't want to touch that if you can avoid it. Apparently the Dachnomania on um, Raikuda here does not cause them to... Open stabby things. That was a bit of a weird pulse, but okay. And we are going to go to our secret door. Take the money and run. Take the money and run. Take the money and run. Put this in here. Da, 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 da. Glittering we want this. We don't want this. We want this. We don't want this. We want this. We will leave. What a lucrative run that turned out to be. Much more lucrative than I would have ever given it credit for. Had we... Like, earlier on, I would never have considered that it would be that great. Uh, we've got several heirlooms, not as many as I would like, but we came back with so much money that I honestly don't care. DC got up to... Not far into level 1, to be honest. Plus, everyone got plus 4, basically. Uh, I should probably check this number and see whether... Um... Oh, great. <laughs> we've got Tetanus, which has already replaced the Red Plague, which is... Well, at least we got rid of the Red Plague. That was the idea, right? How have you managed to take this much damn... Uh, this much... <laughs> what is wrong? That's fine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know what that was. Uh, I think we might have to put some people in for stress recovery. We might have to put people in for quirk removal. We might have to put some people in for disease removal. Marie is now back to zero stress. I was dead before they found me. DT is now level on its way. Which is great. We've got 23,000, which is back up to where we were very early on in the game. Except now, we have level 5 characters, so that's much better. I think I will put Holmesy in as well, who can only... Only pray. It's more expensive, but, you know, whilst you've got the money, you spend it, right? Everyone else is not quite at threshold. I mean, that's not quite at threshold. That is exactly at threshold, so it may not have been worth doing, but... I'd rather have a de-stressed Holmesy than a otherwise, basically. So now we've got much money and many level 4s who haven't been out for a while. And many missions that we need to do at level 3. So we're going to try not to over-level our level 4s. and Maybe we'll take some level 3s to help. Zeke for sure, because Zeke is now <laughs> actually at the right level. So maybe Zeke, Brian... Uh, Marty... 
Lunge is not available from where I want it to be available. That's the problem with taking Marty there, is that you have to put him in the third position to start off with, which is kind of a pest. Um, whereas, if you have someone like Bagel doing the healing... Although, to be honest, we could just do this. And then that's good. And then that's pretty good. And then we need someone in the third position who basically switches around as much as they want. Which would be like Magistus, for example. That's actually a completely level three crowd. But we could do like the ruins. We could do the necromancer with a level three crowd, and that'd be great. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Um, until the next episode, I'm not actually going to commit to any of this. But this seems pretty decent. Look, when Miri moves back. All they lose is Blackjack. Who cares? In fact, we could just cry havoc. Yeah. We'll think about that in the next episode. This was a very uh, successful mission, I think. And I'm very pleased to have got so much money from it. I'm very pleased to be back up at 22,000. It means we can start provisioning properly again. But that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.